Hello everybody and welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave Kay and I hope you're all well. Um, it's Saturday the 24th of April today, 2021. Uh, and we've had a brilliant week. Uh, the weather's been amazing. It's been so nice. Really cool on the morning, but uh, during the day it's kind of burnt off and we've had blue skies all week. Well, we have here in West Yorkshire anyway. I don't know where you, you are. Um, so, um, my favourite word, so, um, we've got in this morning, uh, it's a, an Orbea Wild, an E-Wild, e-bike, uh, it's only six month old, customers brought him because he's, uh, getting a few intermittent, uh, problems, uh, he's been out on a ride and all of a sudden the bike stops, uh, no power, uh, turns it back on, sometimes it boots up and sometimes it doesn't. Um, so it's actually working at the minute, uh, but my tip to you, if you've got a faulty bike, uh, take it into your bike shop for diagnosing uh, when it's showing that fault, okay? Um, it's a lot easier for us to diagnose uh, if it's showing a fault uh, when we get it in. Um, the chances are that if it's working at the moment, then the chances it's not going to show on uh, on it on his diagnostic software uh, this one's uh, a bosch uh, gen 4 it's only six months old like i say it's in really good condition um and it's uh, it's a nice thing to be honest let me show you around it yeah nice looking bike uh, it's only six months old a little bit dusty but we're not bothered about a bit of dust uh, dust don't bother us at all um it's the mud that we don't like so um it's got a Sunrace cassette on it. A lot of manufacturers are starting to use Sunrace. Uh, instead of SRAM or Shimano, it's got an XT derailleur on it. Um, some nice XT brakes, some four-pot brakes. Um, yeah, and all together, a decent bike. So let's uh, hook it up to uh, Bosch Diagnostic Software. Um, I'll switch screen view so you can see my laptop screen and you can see what happens when we plug it in, what the software looks like and what information it tells us. So, let's crack on. Right, okay, let's open Bosch Diagnostics. Uh, the bike's already connected uh, to the system, so uh, it should automatically read the bike and populate the data for us. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Okay, now it's all connected. It's just reading the power pack and the drive unit. And it should tell us a little bit more information. So. So what happens sometimes when we open the software for the first time on a bike that's not been connected for a while, it will recognise that there's an update for it, there's a firmware update um, or a software update for it um, and it tell us on, it'll tell us on this window here what's available. So we can see that the drive unit software version is 1.150 okay and if we just look through here we can see the Gen 4 drive unit, so there's an update for the E-Shift functionality optimization, optimization, like bloody Roger Moore, uh, push assistance optimization, manipulation detection improvement, and general function optimization. Okay, uh, there's a software update version for the power pack, which is the battery, uh, charging behaviors optimized, uh, capacity management approved and general function function optimization so i think we should just install that so we'll just go ahead and we'll transfer it directly from bosch to the, to the bike and what it'll do it'll upload and then it'll start to download and now it gives us an, op an option to increase the uh, the torque uh, to the higher 85 newton meters um, obviously this has not been done previously so what we do is we basically find the crank length that we want well, we know our crank length is 165 okay this is the recommendation that it's actually suggesting for us so we've got 85 newton meters with a crank length of 165 uh, there's other options there for crank lengths of 170 okay so we go for specific 165 and we'll OK that and now it'll download the information from the internet from Bosch and then it'll update us bike uh, as it goes along so we'll come back in a second 
Okay, so that's all done. All sent to the bike, and then it'll do is it'll reinitialate the bike. Uh, it'll reinitialize the bike uh, and read uh, the information from the units, and then it'll display it in front of us, which we've got. Okay, so um, we know that as bikes as bike light is disabled, uh, it's set to miles. Walk assist enabled. It's in English. Uh, and the 12 volt connection is enabled. So if we look at diagnostics, there's no error codes reported for this particular unit as of when we've plugged it in. We can see the date of manufacture, okay, uh, the current time, current date, display mode, 24 hours, okay, and then we can test these particular buttons, which is here. You can see as we test them, they will change. Can you see? Okay, so you can see them actually changing as we uh, press the uh, the buttons on the bars, on the controller on the bars. Um, so if we go up to customer, uh, we can actually uh, generate a report for the customer, um, which will send to us desktop. Uh, we can create a report for his dealer if there's any information or error reports that we've got uh, and we can send that direct to Bosch and they will read that and uh, write some recommendations. Uh, we can um, look at any service history that we've got for this particular bike in the past. Uh, it won't have any because it's only six month old. Uh, we can look at the current configuration uh, which we looked partly before. Uh, we can set um, what the date the next service is going to be on. We can see currently uh, that it's got 4,185 kilometres. I reckon we should set that for another thousand. So, right, well, so we'll send uh, we'll send the next service reading to the bike. We'll put 5,100 with another thousand a thousand kilometres. I think probably then it'll need another look at. Okay, so we can see that's now actually gone uh, to the bike itself and then the spanner mark will come up uh, when it gets to uh, that particular reading. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, and I think that's about it really, what we can show you through there uh, on this system. If we change to the power tube system, the battery, we can see that uh, how many how many charges it's had so the the amount of full charges is 52.9 okay and the current charge level is 88 percent the drive unit we can change the drive unit and we can look at information relating to the drive unit. We can see here what particular modes that he's had the bike in and for how long over that particular complete distance of 4,100 kilometers. We can see that he's had it in Eco 18% of that time, Turbo 15, EMTB at six and Tow 61%. Okay, so we can see what kind of riding really is done from that. okay so that's about it really that kind of covers that off there's a little bit more you can do with this software we don't want to bore you too much uh, we can now see that uh, it's 25 kilo kilometers per hour uh, short crank derailleur 85 newton meters okay we'll close that down and then we can disconnect the bike just as a little bit of an update uh, to continue the issues that we were having with the bike, uh, which is the reason why it came into us in the first place. Um, as you saw from the diagnostics, uh, there were no error codes showing. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, it's likely that it's not going to show any error messages uh, because at the time it's connected to diagnostics, there is no error messages. There is no issues with the bike. It is actually working fine. 
which kind of affirms uh, what I was saying that if your bike does develop faults, uh, take it straight to your local bike shop because it's much easier to diagnose uh, with the faults already there. What I'm going to need to do with this bike is try and replicate uh, the the faults by taking it out for a ride, potentially giving it back to the customer until he kind of uh, finds that the fault happens again and then bring it back to us at that time. Uh, then we can perhaps look at it further. So just a bit of an update for that. So I hope you find that useful. It's a really useful piece of software for us as a Bosch dealer so we can diagnose and find out what's wrong with e-bikes. Uh, so we can look at various different components uh, and possibly swap each component out depending on what the problem is. We can also look at error codes and we can delete error codes if they're there. Um, Bosch are really, really good at supporting us with, uh, with error messages and uh, warranty issues. Um, they're really quick and, they, and they're good. So, um, so yeah, so that's about it really for, uh, for this particular video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and share um, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.